When we talk about filmmaking or making videos, well, filmmaking is a craft that blends creativity with the right tools. First, you start with an idea, you learn the basics, you grab a camera and then choose a gear that makes it all come alive and the last part which is a gear can make or break your work. So, I recently got my hands on the actual Smart X gimbal and I've put it to the test on multiple shoots, different locations and real world scenarios and I think I can confidently say that I know a lot about this gimbal and is it what adding to your setup? Let's talk about it. The packaging feels really high quality from the outside. So right out of the box, you are getting this little tripod, um, I guess it's for the gimbal, a charging cable, the gimbal, and some paperwork. This gimbal is made out of plastic and it is lightweight, durable, foldable, which makes it super portable. And it can easily slip into your bag or your pockets, which is a big win for creators who likes to avoid chunky gears. And despite its compact size, it still feels very firm and sturdy for daily use. And in terms of compatibility, this gimbal works with a wide range of smartphones and connects via Bluetooth. Setting up this gimbal is low-key easy and straightforward, but balancing it for the first time may take a couple of tries, especially if you're new to using gimbals. I remember the first day when I got this gimbal, I was so frustrated because I, I couldn't just make it work. To balance this gimbal, you want to make sure that the surface control part is facing upwards towards your face. And hold on the power button for at least 3 seconds and yeah, it, it should stabilize itself. Before we dive into the actual application, I want us to take a look at some of the controls on the gimbal and how they work. On the surface here, we have a power button and right next to it is the record button. There is also this small jiggly circle and this controls the tilt and pan axis. On the side, there is a sliding bar that is usually used for zooming in and zooming out. There is also a rotating dial for pulling and adjusting focus. And to be frank with you, this controls works really well, like I haven't had anything to complain about over the past few months of me using this device except from this one thing. The controls of this gimbal works really well when paired with the actual camera application. And I mean every single feature, but when it comes with using it with other camera application, it just sucks. The focus and zoom slider controls doesn't work with the Blackmagic camera app which I used and then I thought maybe it was like the Blackmagic camera app that had an issue so I tested it with the native camera app and it was still the same results. So yeah, I guess that's more of a software issue that can be fixed so Actron, if you're watching this video right now, please um fix it. So now let's see what this gimbal is really made of when it comes to stabilization. I would have actually loved to go outside for this test, but the, I don't think the weather is, is gonna let me. But anyways, I tested this gimbal in different scenarios, walking, running, and even panning shots to give you guys a clear idea. And here is a side-by-side -side comparison of footage with and without the gimbal. The Action Smart XE handles movements really well, even when I was running or changing directions really quickly. For me, it's definitely a big step up from handheld shooting, especially for creators who want a cinematic quality video. This gimbal is a steal for creators, especially with all the special features that it comes with, and trust me, this is where things start to get interesting. On the gimbal, there are two different modes of shooting, the F mode and POV. F mode offers the regular pan and tilt while POV just rotates the camera which is really nice when you are trying to showcase a space or a product. Now, while the actual Smart XC offers impressive performance on its own, what fully unlocks its potential is its companion app. This is the Outrun app and it's available on both iOS and Android devices. But the first thing I would like to draw our attention to is gimbal settings. Click on the top left corner to open up different control options and click on gimbal settings. 
And I'm drawing my attention to this because when you purchase this device, it may not be in your desired settings or speed. So on here, you can adjust the follow mode, the pan, the tilt axis, speed, and joystick speed. Still on the menu, just below the gimbal settings is expert mode. And with this mode, it's just like a digital camera where you switch from auto to manual mode. And with this option, you get full control of your camera settings so you can adjust stuff like shutter speed, ISO, white balance, you get the points. The application also uses gesture control so you can use your fist to toggle between photo and video, palm gestures to count down for recording, and a whole lot more. Which in my opinion is awesome for solo creators but also a bit risky. Because imagine you made a gesture and the app didn't pick it fast and you recorded a whole video just to find out that it wasn't recording. And to be honest with you, I just stick to the regular, you know, going to the back of the camera to press the record button and then come in to sit and talk at the camera. Another feature that I find really interesting is follow mode. You can have the camera track your face, body or object and it is actually surprisingly accurate and works really well. And it's a game changer for hands-free shooting or capturing dynamic movements. Let's be honest with ourselves here. All these features and specs are actually really good, but here's a twist. It won't really mean much if the gimbal can last a full day of shooting without charge. So yeah, let's talk about battery life. A pretty good and impressive battery life is actually one of the main highlights of this gimbal. The gimbal comes with a 2600 mAh battery that charges in just 3.5 hours and gives you more than 10 hours to use, which in my experience is more than enough for a full day of shooting. So, is the Action Smart XE really worth it? I mean, for its compact design, creative shooting features, and reliable battery life, it's a solid choice for beginner and intermediate creators. Whether you're a travel vlogger, a casual content creator, or someone who is looking into stepping up their videography skills, this gimbal is actually really really good for its price points. With that said, if you need a higher payload capacity or something that has advanced pro level features, you may probably want to explore other options. But for most creators, this gimbal strikes a perfect balance between portability, affordability, and performance. And if you have used the Action Smart X in the past or just bought it, let me know what you think about this product down in the comments below. And don't forget to smash the like button if you receive value out of this video and subscribe to see more tech content like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.